Oh, hey guys, just out for a little walk. I got my earmuffs on because it's really cold out and I wanted to keep my ears warm. So I got these really nice earmuffs. I think they were like $25, I don't know. Anyway, I was out for a walk on my property and I'm like, hey, you know, I heard there's some Popzillas and some Targets out there somewhere. So I'm like, hey, maybe I'll take my new LCP Max and just in case they try to attack me, I'll have my LCP Max. And then I can shoot him, and then it'll be like hunting. So anyway, oh my gosh, there's some right there. Woo, better finish that one off right there. Oh yeah, now it's dead. This is a very, very fun little pocket pistol to own. Um, I do carry it in a little Kydex holster, so it protects that trigger right there, and you don't have any risk. If you're gonna carry it hot, it's not gonna go off while it's in that Kydex holster, so a very safe holster. This has a very comfortable grip on it. As you can see, I have fairly good sized hands, comparably to that gun like that, and I can get almost my entire three finger grip on there, which is excellent. So very, very comfortable to shoot and very controllable because of that extra grip. Now that is with the 12 round magazine. With the 10 round magazine, it's very similar. Now, I'm gonna open that up there. Very similar with that 10 round magazine. Just a little bit less on there, but not very much, honestly. It's very similar to the 12 round. Um, just holds 10 rounds, so. Now, if this is in your state, um, comes with a 10 round magazine and you can buy that this 12 round magazine separately depending on your state. So if you're not allowed to carry 10 rounds and more, don't worry, it comes with a 10 round magazine. Um, sights on it are excellent. I love that night sight on there and I really love the stipling on the front and the back. Very easy to rack that slide. Very, very, very simple. And it's kind of a, almost an easy rack. I, I would call it close to an easy rack slide, just like their LCP-222 very similar to that um, trigger on this is excellent i'll show you that there's a take up not much of a take up just a nice click uh, nice wall right there boom there's your trigger and reset back to your wall really really nice so the trigger on it makes it very enjoyable to shoot and also very accurate because it's a good trigger. Um, also, they've done some work on this compared to the LCP-222, or excuse me, the LCP-2. Um, this has like nothing for recoil. I don't know what sort of magical um, engineering they did on this, but the recoil on this is hardly anything at all and very easy to stay on target with something that has hardly any recoil. So if you are recoil sensitive, this is the gun for you you know, you still get that little bit more power than a 22, um, close to a nine millimeter, but you have the recoil of maybe 
a 22 or maybe a tad more but not very much more so very easy to maintain that recoil and just with the stipling on it has a nice grip i don't know if you can see the stipling feels really really good and on the magazine it comes with it as well as well as on the front right there so it feels really good in your hand it does not slip hard at all the only thing i have run into with gloves is it will stick on that trigger if you have gloves on it a little bit so if you follow up with your follow-up shot it kind of gets caught you got to kind of pull it out a little bit not a huge deal but just fire it with gloves you know for winter time if you have to use a gun with gloves just practice with them and it's not an issue at all thanks for watching nine mill ridge don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already i love you guys i'll see you in the next video have a great day